we all know this year was extremely challenging, um, and especially for a lot of the um, food producers across the country. The core of what BLOSS does is to accredit the very best of Irish food and to reward the producers that make it. So I was adamant that we would go ahead. We kept the entries open and we were quite surprised that the support we received and the entry levels were quite high. We've taken this situation very, very seriously. Prior to opening up for judging, we had all our team went through the COVID training. People like the judges to, to come here to us. We have to guarantee that they're doing it safely. If I thought for one minute that we were risking anything, then I would have cancelled. I've been part of the Blossom here in judging for a few years now, and this year we had a new, more streamlined system that was paperless with less points of contact, and it certainly didn't interfere with the judging process. There was still the same quality of food there and all the wonderful producers. I suppose the most important thing for the producers and for the, the, the customers uh, is to understand that the, the products have been handled with the same level of care and consideration and the judging is being done with the same sobriety and concern for making sure that the, the right products get the right scores. Professionalism of the team uh, from delivery all the way through the judging process has been top notch. Professor Joe Kerry, I'm from the School of Food and Nutrition and Sciences in University College Cork, where all the food products that are entered into Blast and Heron actually comes into ourselves. Unfortunately, our own University UCC, as well as many others, are on a partial lockdown, which is why we actually have to transfer it actually to Dingle. We forget actually the amount of work that's gone in over the years to build up the facility that we actually have in UCC. Really to consider actually moving Bloss. No, no one could imagine the, the, the challenge that it was to set up facilities in an empty building and actually to deliver that. And we're able to turn around to the producers and say, we didn't let you down. The awards are actually here. It looks like that we'll get to the end of it, despite the pandemic. Uh, and and blast rolls on. It's been very challenging for everybody, but like we've really, really worked hard on keeping all the standards, but also kind of maintaining any of the protocols that we've had to implement for COVID have an affected judging. The products, they're everyone's babies, so we really mind them at the minute they come into the door. And I guess because we've had a smaller team this year, it has been easier as well then to kind of, you know, make sure everything is perfect. It has slowed everything down, but you know, it had to be done, so. Yeah, got it done. My name is Amory Dunn, I'm from TU Dublin and I'm back here again this year to judge the bread and pastry and cake section for the Blossom Hair in 2020. So this year, um, despite you know, COVID restrictions, despite having to make sure that everything was sanitised, we had to work metres apart, we still maintained the exact same standards, we still use the same marking system. So it was very, very important, particularly for the suppliers, that we were still on the same level playing field as before. So from that point of view, we know that everything has been judged on parallel with previous years. So despite all those challenges, despite all those difficulties, I think actually Blossom Heron has done a great justice for food producers in Ireland this year. Really, really very happy with what we've seen and it's great to see that food producers are producing such a high standard quality product. The food producers in particular need these type of supports, they need the recognition, they need you know the general public to know that we are a nation of food, we are a nation of food lovers and we're a nation of excellent food producers. 